Hey guys, it's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a Modern Warfare 3 free-for-all gameplay commentary. Here I am on C-Town using the M16. I have the two attachments, Proficiency, I'm running Red Dot and Rapid Fire. I pretty much have to run Rapid Fire with the M16 if you want to use it effectively, I've found, because the fire time, that is the minimum time in between bursts, is just so long with the M16 compared to other burst fire weapons, or the other burst fire weapon, that being the Type 95. Or I guess I should say the Type 95 now, as of December 8th, uh, Robert Bowling has gotten uh, gotten the message, I think, that the Type 95 is a wee bit out of, out of whack with the rest of the assault rifles, especially uh, the M16, so there are going to be some changes to that coming up, and in fact, I'll get to that later at the end of the video. I did a few videos about that, detailing what's going on. Uh, I've been trying to get a gameplay with the M16 for some time now because I, I've, I don't know why, but I've, I've reinvigorated my love of using burst fire weapons and you know, after deciding that the Type 95 is ridiculously overpowered, I didn't want that to be my go-to burst fire weapon. And so I just decided to try out the M16, you know, thinking, oh, COD 4 death lasers, here we go, let's see what we can do. And no, not so much. The M16 in Modern Warfare 3 sucks. It is vastly underpowered, uh, especially when compared to the Type 95, even when compared with other assault rifles. Uh, you know, it just doesn't have the damage, it doesn't have the fire rate, and you can't get damage out downrange like you can other assault rifles or, SM or even SMGs. Uh, especially the Type 95, so it's just a pain in the ass to use. Earlier I was trying this with an ACOG scope. Don't ask me why, I don't know. I got it in my head that I was going to start a new series where I just pick the crappiest weapons I can find, put the crappiest attachments on them, and try to win a free-for-all game. And, uh, I... I don't know. <laughs> After trying some of the crappy weapons, I don't think I want to do it anymore. I tried some of the LMGs. Uh, it would pretty much just be me using the shotguns and the LMGs with crappy attachments. That would pretty much be... I was going to call it like, hey, fuck you, where I would take suggestions from the viewers uh, in the comment section on, on what crappy guns and attachments I should use uh, and try to win a free-for-all game convincingly with. Uh, but I, I realized very quickly that it would just be LMGs with crappy attachments and shotguns with crappy attachments. So <laughs> might as well just be like lefty goes... LMG slash shotgunning. I don't know. Let me down. Let me know in the comments down below if you would be interested in that kind of thing. Uh, but I want to. I was thinking about this, and you know, in thinking about uh, in thinking about spawning and and looking at the fixes and how long it's taken uh, Infinity Ward to even get to, to even start talking about fixing spawning and and a few of the other just egregious problems with this game. And uh, you know, if you're one of those people that don't think uh, these problems like spawning uh, and lag and and lag compensation and artificially boosting people's ping and doing it too much or not enough, uh, if you think those things aren't egregious problems, then I don't know what game you're playing. Let me know and tell me where I can buy it, because the game I have, I don't know what game you're playing, but the game I have has really big problems with those things. But I, I was thinking for a while, I was like, you know, how could this happen? Uh, the, the thing, especially with spawning and playing free-for-all and even other game types where, you're, you know, you just spawn in front of people or people spawn directly behind you. You spawn, I've spawned in front of multiple IMSs and, and claymores. And I, and I just think, well, where's the beta testing? And that led me to the question, was this game actually beta tested? Was it actually beta tested? Now, normally that would be a, the, you know, you can shrug that off, say, oh, pff, of course it was beta tested. It was a closed in-house beta, but it was beta tested. But given these problems, all you would have to do is play a few games of free-for-all in the finished or ready-to-go gold version of Modern Warfare 3, unless there was some egregious problem with transferring uh, the data from the master copies to the to the copies that are going to be distributed for sale, unless there was some problem in, in transcribing that code and that resulted in crappy spawns, how do you not know that these spawns are an issue? How do you not, in playing a game, you play one or two games of free-for-all, and you're like, whoa, where'd, where'd that guy come from? Why did I spawn here again? I, uh, it's, it's really, really weird. I, I, it, it really does beg the question of whether this game was actually beta-tested, because the thing about it, this game, unlike any other con previous, was rushed out. Now, I know you're thinking, it's like, oh, well, you know, obviously every game is rushed, but think about this. This is the first year of COD XP, and they had to have an up-and-running version of this game uh, by midsummer when COD XP went down, or maybe it was, I think it was late summer, but they had to have an up-and-running version Full, almost fully playable version by late summer they had to have this up. Normally in Call of Duty they had all the way up until the game went gold to get the game up and running, to beta test it, to test changes they made in the development phase and all those things. And 
that didn't happen with Modern Warfare 3, or at least it didn't get a chance to because they had to have this working version ready for COD XP. Add on top of that the fact that you have two brand new teams to the Call of Duty series getting their first hands-on experience with Call of Duty in 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 making Modern Warfare 3, and you have a definite recipe for some good old-fashioned not beta testing your damn game. I don't know. Maybe that's something that Robert Bowling should should answer, should be made to answer, uh, and and answer honestly. But anyway, guys, that's my time. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. There are two videos I have out now that I want you want to direct you guys to. The left one is going to be my detailing of the spawn fix, as Robert Bowling uh, leaked some information or put some information out there on when we can expect, when we can reasonably expect fixes to the spawns, and that is detailed in the video on the left. The right one is going to be detailing uh, the title update and hot fix list. That that Robert Bowling put out on CallOfDuty.com that lists all the title updates to this point, all the hot fixes, what they've fixed, what they haven't, what they are in development of or, or with uh, for title update six, as well as hot fixes to drop after after title update six. So if you're interested in those things, I suggest you open up both of those videos right now. Go ahead and watch them. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Again, be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. I am out.